Yo, what's up guys? Boss here, and I'm back with another YouTube video, and this time we're going to be playing some ladder, top ladder with mortar bait, because a lot of you guys wanted me to play mortar bait, a lot of you guys were asking me to do it, and not only is this the best mortar bait deck in the game, it's also the best free to play mortar bait deck in the game, because it only has one legendary in it, and it has the barbarian barrel in the deck instead of the lock. So the reason why I like having Barbarian Barrel in the deck instead of the log is because it tanks for the Goblin Gang, Spear Goblins, Bats, just more defensive value in my opinion than the log which just simply pushes stuff back and also the Barbarian Barrel allows you to beat Expo much easier than the log does. And also a lot of the best Mortar Bait players in the game agree that Bar Barrel is the better option than log. However, if you do have a max log and say your bar barrel is only level 12, then log is probably the better option. But same level, use the bar barrel. And the miner, guys, even though it's a legendary, I still think this deck is free to play because the miner's been out, guys, over three years. I think it may have even been the first legendary in the game, first or second. So if you've been playing the game daily since it came out, buying it in the shop, and just trading it since it is one of the best legendaries in the game, you should have it at level 12. I know lots of free-to-play people that do have level 12 and 13 cards, so just work on trading and buying them in the shop when you see them. I personally think trading is just so great because you can trade the good legendaries and then you don't need to like get the ones that aren't as good. But anyways guys, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and go into our first game and hopefully I can give you guys the basics of how to use it. Because I've been practicing a lot recently and I feel like I understand the deck like really well and how to play, uh, yeah, like majority of matchups with it. So the key with Mortar Bait is it's a pretty cheap deck. It's 3.3, I'm pretty sure. So you want to be pretty aggressive and almost like, ready to go for the I'm gonna go with the So I'm gonna go in with a uh, barbarian barrel here, and then we do go in with um, letting that be in. It probably was because he was pretty low on the fixer. But yeah, guys, if he goes in with a hog rider, this is the proper placement to do so. I'm gonna go in with the goblin gang at the bridge, and then let's have our mortar ready. And guys, when you're playing against 2.6, remember to use the same way as the hog rider when you're using the mortar bait. So I'm gonna be still going for the left power, even though he's going for like our left power, because I think it's better than going opposite lane. Just because, like, this is the example why, because you fireball the musketeers that they play in the left lane, allowing you to get basically 300 damage every single time they do that. So he needs to cycle a couple more cards until he's back to another level. So I just think, yeah, we're in a pretty good situation right now, because we have the Fireball value because it's a 4 for 4 trade and trading power damage, so for sure worth it. We don't need a barbell here because he didn't play anything in front of the musketeer. Watch out for the squad rider though. I'm gonna go super goblins at the bridge and then battle the battle. So guys, this match, we don't really need to play. I'm gonna go to the minor and I'm gonna go to the minor. I'm gonna go to the minor and I'm gonna go to
I'm gonna go with the fireball here because I'm gonna go for a hog right at home. So I don't think I'm unfortunately not to do that. And then I'm gonna go for a fast. So the reason why I decided to play a high board this time is because I know that I have a lot of stuff to like back up the hog riders. So on top of their tower because you saw there that game was quite close um but yeah he played pretty well i felt like he kept the aggression up but maybe he should have like switched lanes a little bit um but of course that fireball mistake was what for sure cost him the game so we got a little lucky on that but yeah um 2.6 is for sure not easy i don't like know if he necessarily has a counter but you for sure need to play like um very very well and not make too many mistakes and also just don't use your rascals that much and if you do use your rascals you notice how i use them i played them high so he could so they can't like fireball the rascals and your tower otherwise they get way too much value so let's go to the next game uh two games away from 6200 and i actually have already been to um 6250 i just dropped a little bit um wow so maybe he goes to the other um let's go with spear out with the bridge yeah, so he goes with archers. Okay, so guys, I'm actually the last of the second round. 2.9 and 2.9 versus Mort this Mortar deck isn't actually that bad of a matchup, so I'm happy maybe I can like do it. because he knew if he logged them, I would have been able to go in with a goblin gang or something. So, yeah, that's probably why he didn't do anything. Um, well played. He, he actually, like, uh -huh. really bad. Like, he, um, yeah, like, knew exactly what he was doing. So, yeah, I could go there. I could actually decide to do this. So, I'm going to go back. Why? Because he has the best log, so I don't think he's going to go up and Oh, 
opinion that, that he had like Pekka in the deck and Poison, so like a little off meta for sure. Um, but yeah, I think we still played pretty solid. Um, his cards were underleveled as well, like his his Ice Spirit and Skeletons were underleveled. Um, Log too, so yeah, definitely like a good player. Um, pretty high up for using like an off meta deck. And yeah, I still think we played that well though. We were really smart about when to go in for a defensive uh, mortar, and then we also... Yeah, just had good fireballs, barred barrels on top of his expos, and then we went in with the miners when we were able to. So, I would say, guys, the main thing to take away from that is when you're bursting expo, you can miner in the uh, the, the uh, corner, and then the expo will target that. And also, guys, I didn't miner fireball the expo as much as I normally would because he had the P.E.K.K.A., so I can't really miner the expo when he has the P.E.K.K.A. because he can just play the P.E.K.K.A. on top of the miner. So that's a little different than how I would normally play against 2.9. But I guess the aspect is still the same. You're still going in for defensive mortars and then bar barrels on top of the expo. That part's the same. All right, guys, we found our next game here. So mortar at the bridge first play of the game is actually a safe thing to do since um it's different than an expo deck. Expo is like six elixir mortars, so it's not really that bad. Um, first play of the game. And like, look at this here. He just spent seven elixir all because I played a four elixir mortar, so that ended up working out pretty well for us. I decided not to go in with anything in front of the mortar because even though you can mortar the first play of the game, you don't really want to overcommit on your mortar if that makes sense. Like, even though we went with a barbell on the lane, it's still guys safe to not do anything. It's, it's always best to, like, wait for them. Okay, so... So we need to walk out of the when they don't have a lot of stuff um, supporting the balloon, then it's even better to do that because then it's easier for you to like protect your mortar. Alright, I'm gonna go with the liner
mistakes on my end. No! I'm not really sure how it did. I thought, honestly, the Rascal Boy was in front, so... I guess pretty bad on my part for not noticing that. So we are gonna get our first loss. Um, I would say that that's not necessarily, like, an easy matchup. Um, like, this Balloon deck does pretty good against Siege decks. Like, for example, this does really good against 2.9 decks and Expo decks in general. So Mortar, it's kind of the same aspect since he has the Barbarian Barrel and the Snowball. It's not too easy, and even though, like, the Inferno doesn't get that much value in the matchup, he still has, like, a really fast cycle. And then the Balloon in general, like, can be a little annoying at times. Um... But I actually did end up beating a uh, Lava Loon deck earlier here, so it's, it is possible to beat, like, Balloon decks, of course, but they can be a little tough, and you can't really make mistakes like I did that game where the Musketeer just got a huge lock. Okay, so let's flush that loss. Go into the next one here. Um, and... Yeah, it's taking a lot of fun to game. There we go. Alright, so playing a game against Angel here. So, we can go in with Spear Elvins at the bridge, or we can go in with a Bar Barrel, but honestly, I kind of want to save my Barbarian Barrel, so I'm just going to go in with Spear Elvins. The reason why it's good to save it is, like, let's say they're using a Bar Barrel, or maybe they're using a Bar Barrel, or maybe they're using a Bar Barrel, and it's good to save it. The best Barbarian Barrel is better to just... Miner and Fireball 7 Elixir. Since he played Skeletons, we're getting a 7 for 7 trade because Expo 6, Skeletons are 1, um, and we're hitting the tower, so good value, but it, he does have the um, Elixir Collector. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to cycle back. So I'm going to do the Goblin Gang. Miner. Look at that guy, he already made a lot of shutting it down without getting too much damage. Uh, but yeah, guys, we need to, now that we know he has pump, we need to be really careful about how we use our spells. I honestly think spelling the pump is always the best thing to do, but our such got a little messed up. I'm gonna go with a liner here on top of the pump. We need to be careful.
made a couple of mistakes. One of the main mistakes I made was the And what I mean by that is, is we ended up there. You saw we almost lost. We fireballed his the expo in the tower. Instead, we probably should have hit the Tesla. And then also, I think we probably could have. I don't know. I think there was one order that I played offensively that was like a little bit of a mistake because when you're versing expo you don't really want to go in with any offensive mortars ever so that one offensive mortar was actually kind of um yeah a mistake on my end so yeah you don't ever want to do that I actually don't know why I went in with an offensive mortar I think maybe I thought he was just in a bad situation but he ended up playing an expo at the bridge at the same time and that's the main reason why you don't because the expo just has so much HP your mortar is like never gonna break through it on offense so you just, yeah, when you keep playing defensive mortars, and you're getting all your damage to that game with Fireball the Miners. So we got lucky and won that. Um, let's just move on to the next one. I think, guys, we might have time for, uh, uh, I'm not sure, like, maybe one more game after this. I guess I'll see how long this game is. If this game's pretty short, we can for sure play another after this one. Um, alright, so guys, let's go to the first play of the game. Like I said, it's always safe to do. Fireball was fine. We we ended up uh, making sure the balloon only got death damage. But yeah, Spear Goblins probably would have been enough to shut it down, but it's always better to be safe than sorry. So I'm gonna go with Spear Goblins on the back. And then we can go with a. Uh, here. Uh, sure. We're gonna play all of them in the same lane unless. There going in with that, balloon, like it was pretty aggressive, and then also just like the fireball got so much value on the musketeer and the balloon. I'm gonna go with more here, and I like going with Rascal's predictions. There you go, guys. Cool so, another way we can play on our end. Um, and he's gone with like
did he get back, guys, to 6200? Um, we're only, like, top 2,000, so not, like, that high, of course, but, um, still nice to get back to 6200. It's still early season, so I'm not, like, too worried about being top 200 yet. And I still think these are, like, solid videos for you guys, because even though, um, we're not, like, insanely high up, we're still versing, like, good players, and I feel like you get more of a variety of decks, too, when you're at this range. Um... I guess we'll go for one more game, but yeah, as I said, that matchup was a little bit easier for us since he had the P.E.K.K.A. and it was only level 12 as well, but yeah. P.E.K.K.A. doesn't really do good against Mortar, and Mortar actually counters P.E.K.K.A. So if you are if you hate all the P.E.K.K.A. in the meta, that's another like reason to play Mortar because you have a pretty solid match against it. Like, I wouldn't say you hard counter it, but you do have matchup. Um... Alright, so here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and play a, um, a Mortar at the Bridge again. Like, just applying pressure. Uh, he goes with the Tombstone, so maybe this is, like, or something. I'm not too sure, though. So our Mortar's gonna lock on his Tombstone, I'm pretty sure. And let's go ahead and of a time defending it typically because rascals don't like instantly die to the poison goblin gang doesn't even either even spear goblins so you have time to react before it like takes your tower or deals too much damage to your tower but yeah guys i think that was a pretty good video 
Um, let me know if you guys enjoyed it and if you want to see more debate again in the future. And guys, let me know what you want to see next video. I'm thinking maybe next video I'll do like a, um, maybe like a, a GC or something with this deck because it's, in my opinion, one of the best decks in, in the whole game. I can't really use it on ladder because of my Ghost of Fisherman being underleveled. But yeah, guys, let me know what you want to see. It's, it's a really good deck right now. Um, but yeah, guys, if you have any other suggestions, let me know. And if you liked the video, make sure to like it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And also, guys, if you're curious about how I did this uh, global tournament, not too well. I was playing a lot of other decks in this tournament. I wasn't actually even using Giant. I was using Pekka. I was using um, uh, Sparky. I was using Mortar. I was using... What? There was some other... I can't even remember. But yeah, I was using a bunch of other decks. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And thanks again. Until next time.